Good morning, all you wonderful people. JW, Mutho, Julie, Carly, Chip, JW, Joe, JB. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody's had their coffee, orange juice, tea, water, Coke, whatever. Whatever you drink in the morning, I hope you've had it. I hope you're ready to go. <laughs> good morning, good son. Good morning, good morning. My personal opinion, the um, sellers still have the short term of the market. Short term meaning this area right through here. Bulls still have the bigger trend. But we, we as short term swing traders, we trade uh, the short term. Um, I think you're going to see today a combination of both and shorts out there. Uh, looks to me like we're making our way back toward that 50 period moving average. You can see here that we're clearly, we have not rolled over completely because the white line is not below uh, the red dots uh, on this chart right here. This is a SPY. Um, Qs, we've actually, we're down a little bit more. The white line is down into, the, into that red dot, but not below. And then IWM, well, we're still pretty dark gone bullish with that IWM and the diamonds here are still crazy bullish. So it's, you know, you see two big indices looking not too halfway bad, two indices looking not so good. And that's where we're going to get our chop and our, our beating up and, and, uh, bruises. So, um, you know, the, I think, I think the key right now is not to lose any money, uh, is what I think. I think that's the best key right now, best trick. Okay, so um, I do feel like you're gonna get, you're gonna see some um, both longs and both short setups. The bearish engulf is still here; uh, it's not gone away. It will not go away until we close above it, and even then, it's gonna linger for some time. We've got a failed high here. We're down. We're below the trend indicator. Trend, uh, the T-line is just about below the trend indicator. 50 period moving average just below. So it just kind of seems like the obvious is staring in front of us. Um, a few charts that I've got here. I've got some longs and shorts. This just happens to be on top. Uh, CHGG, um, rounded bottom breakout. This, uh, I'm going to be looking at that 200 period moving average as a target. Uh, we'll look at buying when this is uh, appropriate to buy, when it is time to buy. Nice big old bottom over here. We rose up and now we're putting in another bottom. Great big bullish W pattern that we've broken out of. So I think this is an important one. Keep on that watch list. UNG is another one that's acting pretty good. And I suspect UNG, I would look for an $8 and maybe some pennies on the target up here. Uh, from where it is now, that's in the neighborhood of 8 maybe 9% uh, up there. But that's the first target that I would uh, look at on UNG. Um, ABBV. ABBV is, uh, this whole thing has been in a rounded bottom breakout. We're at the 200 period moving average, and it's just trying to find a crack to get through there. As long as it doesn't break down, it's going to keep finding that crack, and it just might do that. Nice chart pattern, rose, rising up here, and then just moving sideways. Uh, pop out of the box, for those that follow the pop out of the box pattern. Uh, CMCSA, another nice bullish chart. Uh, beautiful trend, here it gapped up. And now it's pulled back to a trap, something we call a gap and a trap. Just waiting for that next, next ignition. Uh, whether you're in it now or whether you're looking to get in it, it's that, you know, that ignition that says, okay, let's take that next level. Let's move it up there. So we're watching for that one. Meta is still setting up bullish here. Uh, we gapped up and it just slowly peeled back a little bit and... We're uh, sitting pretty close to the trend indicator, right on the T-line. Again, waiting for the buyers to step in here. That's something that um, I think most of us have noticed over the last couple of days. 
You know, we know there's buyers there. They've not left. They're just sitting, waiting, waiting for somebody to, to, it's like an ant, you know, waiting for somebody to drop a crumb and then the army of ants are going to come get that crumb. Here's Love Southwest. This is looking short. Here we've got a very clear sell signal up here at the 500 period moving average. Uh, we've done the typical pullback, gas for air, pullback, gas for air, pullback, gas for air. Boom. Now we're looking like we're kind of flat trading in here and just don't have the energy to lift it up. So um, LUV is looking short. Uh, XLY, XLY with this gap up. And so far we're holding the trend indicator. I'm going to have to look at this a little to the bullish side. Now I do think it needs to really prove itself as it starts moving up, show some strength. So I probably would be looking over this candle right here of about 174.50. Uh, we move over that, then that will show that the intentions are to challenge this high. Uh, and so far creating a pretty decent bottom in here. Um, XLK is looking short. So pretty much just like shorting the cues here. Here we've come up with a dark cloud cover. This is a good example of a warning sign. Um, we popped up. I mean, so far, so good. Here we break out. We went just a little bit more past that candle there. And now it's just been downhill. Failing the 17 EMA or the trend indicator. And now we're sitting at the 50 period moving average. Looking like a blue ice failure setting up here. Crux is another short. Crux looks a lot like that, uh, what was it, Southwest. Uh, pop down and then just moving sideways here, waiting for the next shoe to drop off. Waiting for the next shoe to drop. Bots, B-O-T-Z, B-O-T-Z. Here, where's my drawing tools? I'm wondering where they went. And there they are. You can see these these areas here where it pointed to trouble and then finally the trouble happened here we are down we're putting in that uh three eight trap bearish um 500 period moving average is sitting right there dotted deuce 200 so we, if we get through that 500 we're probably going to go down to the dotted deuce you get through the dotted deuce you're going to go down to the 200. So each one of those acts as um, a target. PBR, PBR, another blue ice failure here. 50 period moving average, trending just fine. Doing a great job, making everybody a lot of bullish money. Then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, honestly, who cares? The price gets tired. We start moving down. We get to that 50. For right now, there's no hope here. So if that weakness continues, if we start seeing uh, selling below those lows, that would be an indication we're going to go down to the next, what could be support. As I look at everything over here, we've got these little gaps and everything. You've got these, these highs. That makes all kinds of sense. So all we have to do is just, we're looking at that area and Shazam, that's the 200 period moving average. This is one reason why I use moving averages. They almost always line up to something on the left side. Uh, crowd, crowd, another blue ice failure. Uh, not looking so good. You know, I want to stop there for a second because um, yesterday I pointed this out. I just remembered it. Um, Let's make this yellow better see. Yesterday, uh, this is how we pretty much closed up. 78% green, which is pretty darn good. Real good. Um, this is that 148 stocks, the basket stocks uh, in here. Now, last week, this was switched. The red was more into the 70%, 75, it, was, it, stung, it stuck there for a while. And then 25% green. Well, we're seeing that green, but we're not seeing it in the charts. So 
I'm, what that tells me is we're kind of holding up a little bit. Well, I'm real curious to see how this is going to open up today and how it's going to work. So I'd give it five, ten minutes to to uh, to uh, copulate, set it up, and watch what this thing does and see if it stays uh, more toward the bullish side or is it leaning toward the bearish side. It tells a big story here. We'll keep track of that today. So anyway, crowd here, blue eyes failure. Uh, setting up you can see the top uh, 200 down here at target MBLY possible short just moving sideways nothing exciting actually a pretty ugly chart failing here you know what's going to make this fail more than this failed I mean, it really didn't it just went down it stopped went up what we would like to see is this thing come all the way down here well what it's going to take is breaking of those lows just like that so it potentially could do that, and that's what we want to watch for. Um, you, and I've only got one more after this one. You, uh, another blue eyes failure. You can see the top. You see that top starting to form right there. Now we've got that blue eyes failure head toward the 200. An old Tesla here. Tesla's just not not looking so good let's get rid of all that uh blue eyes uh, blue eyes failure so um this might be a way to trade tesla if you can't afford tesla right here looks like it might be headed down toward that 200 um maybe one, maybe 13 40 here but you know if the weakness in the market continues uh, all the way down and then some so as I see it, we've got bulls and we've got bears. Um, if you can't be right, don't be in the market. It's real simple. If you find yourself that you're, you buy something and it's, it's just, darn it, I lost a buck on it. You move to your next star chart. You, you bought something, darn it, you lost a buck on it. You know, how many times are you going to do that before you say, okay, I'm tired of losing, losing a few bucks because they all add up. Okay. Uh, Tyler is saying Jets, 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 Jets. Blue Ice Failure. Yes, it is. Nice short. Excellent short. You've got the 500 period moving average right there. And then the 200 down here. Hog. Hog, yeah. Hog's not. Hog's maybe a little. Might need a little time, I think. A little, little overrun, maybe. But, uh, yeah, hog is not looking so good. So. All righty. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, Chip, Tyler, good son, David, Fred, J.W., Muthu. Thank you a lot. Um, Tuesday, I believe John is up on deck tonight for e-learning. And uh, what else is there today? I can't think of anything today. Let's just try to hang on to our money. Don't get caught up into trading. Don't get caught up into you have to trade and, and it chips away at you. If if you're making some money, then keep doing it. You know, but don't 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 let today days like this, this could be some of the most important days of any trader's career if you can make a buck today. And that's net, okay? That's not one lucky shot. Net. If you can pull pull money out of the market today and you overall are net then I think you're a pretty darn good trader. So let's think about that. All right, everybody take care. We'll see you in a few minutes, in about 25 minutes, the bottom of the hour when the market opens up. I'm going to go get a new cup of coffee and sit right back here. We'll see everybody in a little bit. Thank you.